Hey loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome. If this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Tiffany and this channel focuses on my weight loss journey, home decor, and family life. If that's something that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. Okay, so in today's video, I will be doing a what I eat in a day on my journey to slim thicky thick thick. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so I thought it was only right to bring one to the channel. This video is in partnership with Factor, so if you wanna see what I ate today, please stay tuned. Hey loves, good morning. Okay you guys, so ever since I got my coffee station together, I have been looking at all kinds of different coffee recipes and different things just to try because I'm just excited to try it. But I am one of those people that like a little coffee with my creamer <laughs> instead of the other way around, a little creamer with my coffee. I like it to taste pretty light and have a slight coffee taste. So anything that's like just too much coffee, I, you know, I just got to make it work for me to where I would actually like it. So right now I'm just going to, I've looked at a couple of videos, but I just didn't want to really look at anything to follow it step by step. So I'm going to just kind of, you know, do my own thing and just hopefully it tastes good. So I'm going to try like a mocha type of deal but this time I'm gonna use some almond milk I'm gonna sweeten it up with my own sugar-free sweetener I also have some sugar-free chocolate syrup here that I found in the back of the fridge somewhere so um, I'm gonna attempt to make a sugar-free brown sugar mocha iced coffee <laughs> um, I have some brown sugar-free syrup so that's what I'll be using. And then I'm gonna be using, of course, the almond milk, the syrup, the chocolate syrup, and then this pod. So I'm just gonna be using a little bit of that. So I'll show you how I'll get it together. But this is how I'll be starting my day with a little bit of iced coffee. Now it's closer to 11 and I ain't hearing nothing. I just need to know that you're okay. Hey guys, this is what it's looking like. I don't know. <laughs> it's looking a very experimental, okay? So we're going to see what it's looking like or what it's tasting like, rather. And let's give it a taste of it. Y'all, I like it. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I'm shocked. Y'all, I ain't going to lie. It was looking a little questionable. I wasn't sure, but if you like a slight coffee taste and like things to be, you know, just more on the light side, then I recommend to try it. Try to fill most of like three fourths of your glass up with your milk of choice, maybe oat milk, cashew milk, almond milk, regular milk, and then, you know, use your syrups or whatever, maybe sweeten up your milk a little bit and then top it with your coffee just like this much of the way and then you know top it with whatever syrup you want to use and it'll give you like a light refreshing coffee type of taste something that's not so super strong and bold you know if you're not feeling like a bold bold coffee taste um the only thing that i might try next time is something with a little heavy whipping cream maybe you know froth a little heavy whipping cream in there just to give it a little bit more thickness but i like the taste definitely something that i can make on the daily and it is truly cold you know because you're not adding so much hot coffee it is truly cold and iced coffee like right from the get-go super good try it out don't deny that i could do some company all my friends say honey just let him be now your perfume stuck in my shirt and there's an ember left in my bed i don't know about you but put you first i bought some new flowers Like snow in the spring. I 
Hey you guys, so here is our finished breakfast. We have some pumpkin almond flour pancakes, bacon, and a half of grapefruit. So when I started making the pancakes, I was like, you know what? I have a little bit of pumpkin puree. So I decided just to add like maybe one, I think one or two tablespoons you guys saw in there just for a slight hint of pumpkin flavor. So hopefully it did come through in the pancakes. I got three slices of bacon I put in the air fryer. And y'all, ever since I did that three day military diet, I've really been liking um, grapefruit. Like I'll just eat it by itself or sometimes I'll sprinkle a little bit of the um, sugar-free substitute on top and it's just so refreshing and it tastes so good. I love it. I love citrus type of things. So let's go ahead and taste these pancakes and see if that pumpkin flavor came through. And I just topped everything with a little bit of sugar-free syrup. I don't know if I said that already. It's definitely good. I don't know if I'm tasting pumpkin though. I might not have put enough. Maybe if you're like really searching for it, you might be able to taste a little hint, but I don't think I put enough for it to be like, if I serve this to someone else, I don't think they would taste the pumpkin in it. <laughs> so I'll probably try to do this again, but just add a little bit more. Maybe because I saw the color change, I thought that it wouldn't was enough. But for that flavor to come through, I think you definitely need a little bit more than a tablespoon. But nonetheless, super, super good. I love Simple Meals brand. They make pretty good stuff. <laughs> so um, I haven't tried anything that I really didn't like. So yeah, the almond flour pancakes are bomb. And y'all already know how I feel about my bacon. So yes, you guys, this is what I'll be having for breakfast. Okay, you guys, so my factor box just came in and I'm so happy because that will help me with this week and I don't have to worry about cooking so much this week. I can have it either for my lunch or for my dinner or both, just however I'm feeling for the week. They always come in clutch, super easy and great quality. If this is your first time hearing a factor, here is a little bit more about them. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. So it's basically meal prep done for you. Fitness starts with food and Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating. They offer keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, and vegan and vegetarian options, which include seafood, meat, and plant-based meals to meet a variety of lifestyles. In a wellness market, full of unrealistic diet plans, Factor is a welcomed and new approach to prepared food. Factor meals include premium ingredients with integrity and is perfect for those days on the go or for the days when you simply don't feel like spending too much time in the kitchen. It's no prep and it's no mess. Factor cuts out stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes, taking the guesswork out of what to eat for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in about two minutes. They offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 25 plus meal options, and they're owned by the same company as Green Chef, so you know the meals are top notch. What I love about Factor is that it's so convenient. On the days when I don't feel like cooking, I can just grab and go and stick to my goals at the same time. And it's flexible. I can easily adjust my order size, enjoy with my family, or even skip a week if I have a special event. So I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Factor. Head to go.factor75.com slash for show 60 and use code for show 60 to get 60% off your first box. Again, head to go.factor75.com slash for show 60 and use code for show 60 to get 60% off your first box. So yes, you guys, that is Factor. Again, I definitely recommend them to make your life a little bit easier. Sometimes you just don't feel like cooking. You need something healthy that you can reach for that actually tastes good. 
So I will have their information in the description box below for you guys. And let me show you what I got in my box. Okay, so the first meal I got is the Peruvian chicken with red pepper cauliflower grits and broccoli. This one is nine net carbs and it looks pretty good. I actually have had this one before and it was pretty good. The next meal I got is the ground beef and thyme cottage pie. This one was really good. I love that you could taste that thyme flavor in it. It was just something that was different. I've never had anything like it before and it was really, really good. Um, this is again, the ground beef and thyme cottage pie with Parmesan butter zucchini. And this one is eight night carbs. The next meal is the cilantro jalapeno pork chop. And this one comes with pepper jack, cauliflower grits. Ooh, that sounds good. And zucchini and squash. I've never tried this one before, but it looks delicious and saucy. This next one is the Keto Mushroom Burger. And this one comes with steamed spinach, tomatoes, and Parmesan cauliflower mash. This one is 11 net carbs. And girl, it got a bunch of cheese on it. It looks like it would be really good. And a lot of times I like to mix all this together, like chop it up and mix it together. This, that, this seems like one of the meals that I would do that with. This next meal is the Keto Chorizo Chili. This one comes with shredded cheese and scallion sour cream. This is the oldie but goodie. I've gotten this one so many times and it tastes so good, especially with like a warm up low carb tortilla. And our last meal is a buffalo chicken breast. And this comes with pepper jack, cauliflower mash, and broccoli and ranch dressing. Y'all, oh my goodness, this one sounds so good. This is 10 net carbs and 560 calories. And I'm thinking I might have this for my lunch meal, but it looks so saucy and so good. So yes, you guys, that is everything I got in my box. Trip on it when a girl who can go slow. Find it up on night. Okay, guys, so here is our finished meal in two minutes. <laughs> this is uh, again the buffalo chicken with ranch broccoli and parmesan i think cauliflower mash <laughs> so let's go ahead and give this a taste because i ain't gonna lie this do smells very very good y'all it smells bomb i could just smell like a little bit of that buffalo let's go ahead and taste it get a little bit of this up in there get a little broccoli too everything mm -hmm. mm. yum actor don't miss so good and it's like these this oh no it's i think it was pepper jack cauliflower mash you could taste the cheese it tastes really cheesy and creamy it does have a spice factor to it so um i would say maybe like on a scale of one to ten it's probably a five so not too bad but it does definitely have a kick let's go ahead and just taste the broccoli by itself well i never thought to do this just put some ranch on my broccoli i've never thought to do that i did cream cheese before but i've never done ranch tastes pretty dang on good so yes you guys this is what i'll be having for lunch Okay, guys, so here is a dinner. This is the factor meal. Honestly, you guys, I just didn't really feel like cooking dinner. I'm going to be washing my hair tonight, and you already know how that can be when you're natural. It could take forever. And I hate that I waited so long. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and warm up that factor meal. And maybe, I don't know, I might have a little dessert or something and then get to washing my hair and stuff. But this is the Keto Mushroom Burger with steamed spinach, tomatoes, and Parmesan cauliflower mash. And y'all, I tasted some of that Parmesan cauliflower mash 
when I was transferring it over to the plate and oh my god it's probably the best cauliflower mash that I've ever had in my life I'm like I need to know the recipe now like what is it because oh my gosh it is so delicious so yeah let's go ahead and taste the rest of it and see what it's hitting for this is my first time having this particular meal. So let me get us some patty, some gravy, and some of that mash. Oh my gosh. This one looks like it'll be really filling too. This is what it's looking like. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And y'all, I used to be one of those people that didn't like mushrooms until I got older. But y'all, this mushroom gravy with these Parmesan. Oh my goodness. This one? It's a 10 out of freaking 10. I'm definitely, definitely ordering this one again. Y'all, if you guys decide to try Factor, try out this meal. Bomb, bomb, bomb. So yes, you guys, this is my dinner. y'all so this is what i will be having for my dessert this is the birch benders keto friendly birthday cake and it's four net carbs for this cup and then i just went ahead and added some whipped topping on top now i've had like the brownie cake or chocolate cake one and i really like that one but i've never tried the birthday cake so let's go ahead and taste it and it it recommends to microwave it for 60 seconds but I do it for about 45 just so that it doesn't like dry it all the way out. Mm -hmm. One more bite. I like it, you guys. It's like light and it's not as, I don't know if I want to say dense as chocolate, but it just has a light, fun taste to it because it's birthday cake. I actually really like it. So instead of always getting the chocolate one, I'll probably mix it up sometimes and get this one as well. So yes, you guys, this is my dessert and how I'll be ending what I eat in a day. So yes, you guys, that concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys check out Factor in the description box below. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.